this problem addresses an important issue about order of operations. If you look at the first example, we have a subtraction, an exponentiation, and a division. Exponentiation is the strongest. So we start there from 48. What we're going to subtract is 36 over 3. Now we do the division. 48 minus 36 divided by 3 is 12. So we have 48 minus 12, which is 36. This is where things get a little trickier. First of all, there is no parenthesis in sight. So theoretically, we should we should follow the same order of operations. However, intuitively, we all know to first square 6. So that's 48 minus 36 divided by 3. Then we do the subtraction. 48 minus 36 is 12. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So what happened here? We did first the exponentiation, that makes sense. But then, instead of performing the division, we did the subtraction first. Well, there should be some parentheses, and there is. When a division sign stretches over an entire expression, that is the case of what I call the invisible parentheses. And it's a little bit dangerous. Oftentimes, these parentheses have to become visible. For instance, it's a common error to when trying to enter this, we enter into the calculator this. But this is actually the first problem, right? So the calculator will never perform what you want it to perform. It will perform exactly what we tell it to perform. This computation, to enter into the calculator, this invisible parenthesis has to become visible, right? This is the correct way of entering this into the calculator. And there are other situations in algebra where from one line to another in our computation suddenly invisible parentheses have to become visible. And those are dangerous little spots in our algebraic computation. But it is interesting that our notation is so logical that people intuitively understand invisible parentheses. Okay, thank you for watching.